reasons why you would want to use a layer mask. Um, one is um, a really common thing that I've seen over the years is where people will change a photo to black and white and have one area that remains in color. Um, for instance, in this photo, you would change it all to black and white and maybe leave her eyes um, in color. Um, it's not really something I think ever turns out all that well without looking cheesy, um, but it's obviously a matter of matter of preference. Um, one thing that I use layer masks for a lot is blending and composites. So um, if I were to um, swap part of this out, so for instance, if um, I really liked her eyes in this picture, um, but her her smile was you know, crooked or I didn't like what was going on there, I might ch um, take her mouth from a different photo um, of the same setting and swap it here. So I would use a layer mask um, to help blend that in. The nice thing is that by using a layer mask um, and a brush tool versus using the eraser is that if I take away too much of that top layer, I can add it back on. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, we're going to use the standard cheesy um, changing it to black and white and keeping the eyes in color. Just um, I feel like that's the quickest and easiest way just to show you how a layer mask works. So in the bottom right corner, um, first I'm going to duplicate my layer. So control J, um, command J if you are on a um, Mac computer. So this is my top layer now. The reason I do that is so that um, any changes I make to this layer um, won't affect the, the background layer. Um, so the layer mask is the third icon in from the left down here in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see this little white box come up. Um, whenever you're working with the layer mask, you always want to make sure that that is selected. So not the picture itself, but click on that. Um, to do this, so I'm just going to quickly change it to black and white. I'm not going to mess with um, doing, oh, let's see, what am I looking for? Well, we got to go back to the picture itself. So when you want to change it to black and white, it has to be on the picture, not the layer mask. Um, adjustments, hue saturation, okay, just for the sake of this, we're going to do it quickly like that. Um, obviously, her eyes have now changed to black and white as, as well. So in order to get rid of the black and white layer on top, um, on just the eyes themselves, I want to make sure that the layer mask is selected again. So I'm going to click down here on the layer mask. Um, I want to make sure my brush tool is selected and um, that the white is in the background. So I need to bring the, the black brush forward. That's going to remove the layer. The white brush adds it back on. So you can just hit an X and that will toggle between the background and foreground color. So we want the black on top. Um, I'll enlarge my brush a little bit. And I'm at 100% opacity right now. But you can see by me going over this how easy it is to remove that off of there. So I mean even though she has beautiful eyes, in my opinion, I would much rather have a full color or a full black and white um, photo with something like this. But um, it's a lot of people like that type of work. So um, it's pretty easy like that. If you want to zoom in, a little bit. You may see um, where I accidentally picked up just a little bit of the surrounding skin, um, a little bit over here. So I would hit the X, um, so back to the white, and brush it back on. Okay, there's a little bit over here. Pretty easy. Um, the other thing, so like let's say I wanted to make her, um, her, her dress come back in color, which I'm just for the sake of this, I will show you. So let me go back, back to my brush tool. Right now it's on white and I need it to be back on the black. Um, and you can see when I brush over it, it's going to bring it back into color. Um, any mistakes I made, so if I went you know, too far out here, again, you would just toggle back to your white brush and you can fix that. Um, you'll see in um, my next tutorial um, that's linked at the bottom down there, um, 
you'll be able to see how I would use a layer mask effectively when creating a composite. This is just a basic, simple overview of, of how you use one. Um, but you'll see how effective they are if you, um, you know, a lot of times when doing family photos, you'll have um, everyone smiling except one child. So you have to swap their head from one picture into another. Um, it's very common. Um, same with newborn photography. A lot of times we have to um, swap out different parts of the baby to create the, the final product, the pose that we're wanting. Um, happens a lot, um, but you can see, brushing this back off. But in the next uh, tutorial link down below, you'll see that. So make sure you Thanks check that out. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.